Hello, good morning everybody. Not that there is anybody here, because I'm talking right away. And so, um, you will have to wait for a moment while I get set up. If you are here, and I don't believe anybody is. Mm -hmm. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. That's working. Um, let me see here. Oh, okay. It's kind of bright. I know you guys probably think it's kind of dark, but here we go. Oh, new game. Steel Soul. Why is there a left right option here? Hmm. Who knows? Alrighty, so dying is dying in this game. If you die in the game, your stream ends in real life. In the wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you who the challenge met, under the palest watch you taught, we changed. Basid sticks we re were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. That was, I didn't realize that was supposed to be a rhyme until too late. Um, ew, something gross in my ear. Well, it's, um, I mean, it's not gross, it's earwax. Okay. The black egg. So that's going to be relevant later. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I'm not going to get near that thing. Well, actually, I'm going to get very, very, very near to the black egg, but I'm not going to get much further than that, I should suspect. So the terrain in this game is made from... I thought I always thought that they were supposed to be, like, dead corpses, and I guess maybe they are, which is kind of morbid. Like, the entire area is just made of bodies. Dirt mouth. Alright, off we go. Uh, oh. So our journey begins and promptly ends. No worries, I remember how to play this game. A game by Team Cherry. Is there a secret here, I think? Yeah, I think there's a secret here. But I can't get to it yet. I need to be able to jump higher. The music in this game is beautiful. This game is, is generally beautiful. Good morning, Yuri. Hello, friend. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul and you shall receive feats of which others can only dream. Okay, yeah. B to do spell attack. Um, how are you this year, Yuri? Ha, <laughs> see, it's a new year, so I can say that. Um, yeah, how, how, how is it going? It's, it's good to see you're still around, that I haven't lost all of my viewers immediately. <laughs> Although I suspect I probably took a big hit from not streaming for like a whole two weeks. <laughs> not that I uh, am too worried. Um, whoa! I forgot about that. Oh. What's down here? Anything? A secret. Um, a secret that becomes more relevant later. This is my second attempt. Oh, um, I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't see it, Yuri. I think I think maybe I didn't see it. I, I can um, I will have a look for it. Sorry, I I, I um, yeah, I guess I missed it. I've been um, been kind of busy. Obviously, it's been the the festive period, which means um, uh, you know, busyness generally. 
Um, I'm also I'm looking for a new place still, which is a bit concerning. I need to have it within a couple weeks, so um, cutting it a little bit fine. Um, Dirtmouth, the feeding town. Oh. Oh, you came back. You walked straight past me. I thought maybe I'd faded away along with the town. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long felt a ruin, yet it still drops folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. I shouldn't have sat here. There's no reason to rest and I just lost my little shield there. Oh well. Okay, so we're heading down the well and off we go. Oh, it's a surprise, is there? Oh, I'm excited. Um, I will, I will, uh, look at some point. <laughs> Do you know this game at all, Yuri? Have you heard of this game? Um, it's a, it's a very good game. It's a, an excellent game. Um, one of my favorite games that I've played in recent times. Um, a friend of mine, um, who is annoyingly right about things all the time, um, <laughs> told me that it was a great game. Like, he was waxing lyrical about it for so long that I didn't want to play it because I didn't want to kind of prove him right. Um, and then when I got it, I was like, oh yeah, no, he was right again. What? Oh. Damage. Yeah, it's kind of like Limbo, I suppose, in, in its style. Um, uh, it begins quite dark, but later on it gets quite colourful, actually. Um, and it's all, I think it's all hand-drawn, which is nice. Uh, like, watercolour, I think. Which is a beautiful style, really. Um, I don't know if you... I, I sometimes do watercolour myself, and this is um, exquisite. <laughs> I wish I could draw, um, do this kind of level of, um, I mean, obviously it's it's been um, edited with the, um, with a computer program, uh, Photoshop or whatever. Mm. Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins, don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding a way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a quarter, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He wants us to sell. He wants to sell us a map. So uh, that gives me a map of the area. And now I can kind of see a little bit. It doesn't tell me where I am on the map, which to begin with is kind of annoying. I think it's, um, yeah, I, I think there's uh, some computer editing gone in to it. But I mean, if you look in the background, like on the left here, you can kind of see, it does look kind of watercolor-ish. Um, but yeah, it's 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 so beautiful. Um, really, really amazing. Um, oh, secret! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Video games can be an art form um, in a way that traditional art is an art form as well, which I think is really nice. Braid is totally just... Oh, I could have skipped this area. Interesting. Um, I don't need to, though, because I'm not a brand new newbie. And I can probably beat this guy, these guys. These, there's a later, more threatening version of these enemies that are annoying but these are not too much of a threat. <sighs> um, which is no use at all. Okay. 
Uh, the benches are only useful for respawning, and I will not be doing any respawning, so I don't need those benches for anything. Okay. Another recent game that was hand-drawn was um, uh, Cuphead. And I was astonished, actually, to see when I when I downloaded Cuphead, uh, it takes 12 gigabytes, 12 gigabytes, and it's you know it's like a little 2D game, but I guess they just have like straight up a lot of high quality animation. But I mean, it's, that's an astonishing amount of like that's like that's like 12 hours of HD movie or something. <laughs> Maybe not 12, but I mean, yeah, it's I, I don't know how they managed to fit that much. Uh, stuff on a disc, really. Well, there's not a disc, of course, but I don't know how they managed to, like, fit that much stuff into the game. So this is a game about, um, whoops. Uh, exploration, mostly, I suppose. Uh-oh. Ouch. Okay. Can't go that way. <laughs> Yeah, if you I don't know, have you played Cuphead ever? Um, it's quite famous recently. Um, I thought it was too hard. I'm I'm a fan of kind of difficult games, but I thought it was too difficult. Yes. Oh, let's meet a good character. My girlfriend loves this guy. Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I had. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna do that voice because that's annoying. I've grown stiff and tired over the many years and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. The Stagway stretch step of Hallonest. Do you want to travel? Basically, this is a fast travel mechanic. I can use it to travel back to the surface if I want. I'm not gonna do that right now, though. I wonder whether uh, Cookie is going to make an appearance. I um, I, I said that I was going to do this, uh, and then I was like, oh, I haven't done it at all. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll do it today. Um, my girlfriend's back at work, so I've got no, no, no excuse for being distracted, really. Oh, we got a big boy. Oh, Ooh, two damage. I didn't realize he was good. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> that was a bit close for comfort. Um... Oh, goodness me. Alright, well, our journey nearly ended very quickly. I wasn't expecting him to do two damage, actually. Oh, oh. Alrighty. Um, doesn't seem to be anything else here. Yeah, like a little, little mini-boss, I suppose. Um... But, I mean, there, there's no more enemies that do two damage for, like, the longest time. Um, only the very final, like, very, very few enemies in the game do two damage. So, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, but he's he's there kind of, I suppose, as a difficulty gate a little bit. Because right now we're going to have... I think this is in this room, maybe? There's going to be an actual boss fight? I thought it was in this room. Is it not in this room? Ah, there we go. So that, that guy is kind of a practice for this this guy. So this guy's interesting in that he teaches you some bad info about the game. Considering this is the first boss you encounter, I think it's been badly designed in that um, you have to hit him when he's stunned. And there's no other boss in the game that works that way. So every other boss in the game, if you hit them when they're stunned, they immediately become unstunned. So you're you, it's... The stun state is kind of a chance to heal, usually. So, kind of bad, I think. Um, 
bad design to make the first boss work this way. Oh. Whitey Wolf. Um, oh wow, he's still alive? I thought that was going to be it. Oh, that is it. Hmm. Uh, this is a game about being a bug and doing bug stuff. Um, I hope you had a happy New Year. Is it New Year in... Um Okay, so we get the city crest, which is useful. Um, I think that allows us access to Hallow Nest, if we can find the way there. Um, where, where are you from, Whitey Wolf? I've forgotten. Is it somewhere in Asia, right? Um, Indonesia or something, is it? I hope. I hope that's right. Um, did you have? Uh, did you celebrate New Year or... or I don't know what I'm talking about. I know there's a secret here. Boom, boom, oh. Cute little, little grub boy. Oh, the Philippines, yes. Yeah, yeah, so all the characters are bugs, and even, I think, the background, if you look, um... I think the background is actually made of bug corpses, or, I don't know, it's definitely bug-type stuff, isn't it? I thought, like, bug shells, like, cast-off shells, maybe, and stuff. But, like, almost the whole game... Oh, gosh. Almost the whole game is made out of bugs, basically. Uh, very, very artfully done. Um, I think it's actually... They've kind of made a bit of a magnum opus, really, in, in that they've explained the platforming game, as it were. So this, uh, if I had the, um, the tram ticket, I could get in here, but I don't have the tram ticket, so I can't. Um, yeah, they've kind of explained the platforming uh, game perfectly, like... You know, it makes a lot more sense for bugs to kind of climb up and down in this way than it does for, like, plumbers or whatever. Um, and it also allows... You can have the characters look like whatever you want. Like, in Mario, why do the characters look that way? Like, there's no there's no good reason. If they're supposed to be humans, why do they look all different, all different kind of shapes? Whereas if they're bugs, you can just have them look like whatever you want. What? This takes ages. No, it doesn't. Never mind. <laughs> about to complain about how long it takes to kill this boss, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> oh, it's not over yet, though. Gross. So this, this motif here is the motif is like a crown, but it also looks kind of like horns. Unfortunately, I can't get up there yet. To this giggling sound. Whoops. Whoa, ouch. I'm nearly dead. Should be a little bit careful. You're doing a challenge. Uh, why would you do that? It's not a good idea. Uh, also, um, I'm tempted to say I don't believe you. <laughs> Eight days without sleeping is a long time, and you'd probably be going crazy by now. You don't seem crazy enough to have not slept for eight days. Oh. Oh. 
I am sly. Oh, yes. Okay, interesting. So, if you return above, come see me. I'll probably, I'm probably the friendliest face there. I can thank you properly for your good deed. Yeah, whatever. So we rescue him. He's the shopkeeper. He's, he's important. Um, and I think he's the brother of the some other characters we meet later. Well, you should be going literally nuts by now. So, um, um, you can tell us whatever interesting hallucinations you're having because <laughs> uh, eight days is a very long time. Uh, yeah, no, if you don't sleep, then you'll die, so... <laughs> so... Oh, we can't get in here yet? Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure where I need to go now. I've kind of lost, lost a little bit. Wreck everything. Okay, uh, so I think I need to go down to the Mantis Village next, which is um, a little bit trickier area, maybe? I think it's down here. Yeah, I think it's just down. So there's different kind of races, I suppose, in these um, uh, uh, different insect races that have different kind of factions, I guess. And the mantises are not very friendly people. Oh, they're not here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I know where I need to go, actually. I remember. I need to go to meet the, um, the snail shaman. The snayman, if you will. Snayman. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not good, not good. <gasps> nope. Get out of here. That was a little bit close. This is not the right way either, unfortunately. Oops. What? 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 No. <laughs> what? One, two, three. Yeah. Ooh. He's so cute. That's a bit concerning. Um, what kind of plushy toys do you have? And what do they say? <laughs> um, hmm. This way, maybe? Hmm, this is the way to the false knight. Hear someone, but I don't see them. Oh right, yeah, yeah, I remember this. So this is where the false knight was. Who's that? I hear someone. Ah, okay, you see where I'm supposed to have gone. Woo! So much treasure. Even the money looks like little uh, like carapaces or something. Can't get up there. Okay, I need um, need to be able to do a wall jump first. So um, as I say, this is kind of the magnum opus of, of platforming. Oh, here we are. So um, you get um, you start just jumping, and then you kind of unlock various movement patterns as you go along. When on in, <laughs> the Schneeman. Oh ho! Who is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange empty face and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Hallowness's corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help? Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little smell of my own creation. Smell. <laughs> it's just perfect for a little one like you. Oh ho ho ho!
Let's take it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, we've got Vengeful Spirit. I thought we already had Vengeful Spirit, to be honest, but... Okay. Um, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'd already got that. Maybe we hadn't. So now we have, like, a spell attack. But it takes up my... So we have this mana bar on the left here. This circular mana bar here. Not really a mana bar, is it? Mana circle. Um, that is used for healing and for all kinds of magic. Uh, but it effectively kind of forms an extended health bar. And in a run where you can't die, uh, it's kind of important not to lose... Not to waste it. Because we need that kind of extended health, as it were. Um, obviously, it, it takes a little time to, to kind of get it to use it. Whew. Okay. What have we got here? You get a little bit of knockback from your attack, so that's kind of what this is supposed to be about. Not too difficult, though. See you later. Sucker. And bop, bop, bop. Alright, so down there is a kind of a boss, but we're going to go over here real quick. That's some mana there. I can hit that for mana, but I already have max mana, so I'm not going to bother. And the thing that I really want that's up here is... Well, I want the money. This stream will end when I die, so it's probably not going to end. Probably going to end pretty soon, to be honest. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't end now. This guy isn't too difficult, so surprise! All right, come on in. Soul catcher. Yes. Okay. So this um, this charm gives me more soul. That is the mana. Hey, I killed your friend. Oh, oh, there you are. I was watching you while you slept and must have slipped away myself. I woke up and found you disappeared. You are a surprising one. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, I wanted to ask a small favor of you. You see, there is a certain creature lurching, looking just above us in the heart of this temp. Oh, ho, well, yet another surprise. You've slain the creature before I even asked. I scarcely deserve such a friend as you. You're a marvel. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wonderful. <laughs> so, um, yeah. He's pretending like he didn't just lock us in there to fight that thing. But it's okay. We can't expect everybody to be friendly in this world. He had some expectations of us, and we met them, so. Alrighty. So, Cornifer is here. Or was here. <sighs> well, that's what happens if you fall on spikes. Oh wait, you already know that, because you've seen it. So, I think this is the right way now. I don't really remember. It's kind of a bit um, omnidirectional, I suppose, this game. Omnidirectional is probably not the right word, but omnidirectional is definitely not the right word. Oh, I hear a little grub boy. There he is. But this is not the right way, sadly. Different game. <laughs> Wrong game, Whitey. Hmm. Mm. Oh. So where is the way down? Oh, this way, maybe? Oh, I think this way. Hello, Governor. Um... Yeah, it's 2019. 
2019. 2019. It is kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> hello, hello. I love it. Twenty eighteen went by in a flash, huh? Well, actually, I guess you guys don't know. You guys, maybe it stretched out. What do you think? How was twenty eighteen for you guys? It has been a while. Oh, gosh, I'm I'm kind of lost now. Uh, I think I need to go and fight Hornet. Is the next character that I need to fight. Um, but I need to find my way there. Um, so maybe it's this way. No, nope, it's not that way. Okay, uh, we're going to need to sit at a bench, I think, so that we can kind of... Um... In fact, let's go to the surface again. Whoops. Um, I'm just going to make my way up to the surface. This is going to be a little bit difficult. This area is a little bit tricky, but not too bad. Whoop, whoop. So here we can buy some useful stuff. Um, <sighs> Bapanada. Bapanada. Come to buy a map, have you? Really, my heart. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. blah. Um, so we're going to buy the Wayward Compass, which lets me know where I am. And I'm also going to buy the Quill, which lets me extend the map. Uh, I'm going to buy nothing else for now. My day uh, going good. All right, so we have a notch. Um, let's just put those those on. So those are, those are like our little kind of power ups. And here's Sly, his shop. So we can do a little bit of shopping in here, maybe. Hmm. Gathering Swarm could be good. I usually like that one. So I'm going to take Gathering Swarm, which will allow us to get some more money. Um, hello! Hey, he, he, oh. Good morning, friend. Um, do you know this game? If not, I recommend you buy this game because it's great. Ah, um, uh, yeah. No, Memento is, is a very good movie. Um, do approve of that. Um, so, let's see here. This makes things a lot easier. Now that I can see where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, so let's try going to the left first. I think there's a couple things over here that we can check out. I know that there's the grub daddy is over here. The grub father, if you will. Ooh. Ho ho, I'm the poor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he, he, he gives a reward for every time you save a grub, basically. Uh, to begin with, it's not very much, but later on, it's a lot. Good morning, Toke. Um, I hope you're well this morning. How is your beginning of uh, 20, 2018? Ooh. Oh. Yes, so we needed to get the magic so that we could kill this guy, that's right. Ooh, he hit me. I wasn't expecting that. And we have a new area, and it starts to turn green. In fact, we're approaching the very imaginatively named Green Path. Do you guys have New Year's resolutions? Oh, cute boy. Um... Oh no. Whoops. Alright, let's let's be a little bit more careful. We can't afford to take any more damage really. Because we will die. 
Hmm. The little fluff boy. He's dead. There are so many enemies in this game. I'm very, very impressed, really. The amount of time and effort they put into this. Wasn't this was this a Kickstarter or something? Well, he's dead. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's keep going. Um, I always use the Minecraft thumbnail because I um, I'm lazy, basically. That's literally it. Um, I have like five. I stream to several platforms, and so if I wanted to update the thumbnail for all of them, I I would have to do it manually, and I just can't be bothered. I have a tool that changes their um, titles, but the thumbnail is just yeah. I, I should do it really, but you know, I mean, I don't make any money from this stream, so I do I do what I likes. Okay, so there was Hornet. Got a quick glimpse of her. And we will search and destroy. Um, I have uh, some New Year's resolutions. I'm going to. Uh, one of them is to get a house. So, to actually buy a house, which I should be able to do now that I have a new job. Hopefully. Um. So you guys can look forward to uh, my new house in this year, maybe, or not. I don't know, I'm going to be in a new house soon anyway, but um, one that I own is kind of what I'm hoping for. Oh. We'll see whether I, whether I get to uh, buy one this year. I should be able to, I don't see why I, I shouldn't, but that's one of my New Year's resolutions. I also want to, um, I'm a big fan of meditation, but I've, I've been pretty poor at it recently, so I'm going to try and um, get back on that meditation train, uh, and um, I'm committing to do that every day, so instead of just most of the time. Um, hmm, anything else? Don't have any New Year's resolutions as it pertains to the uh, YouTube, so that was lucky, wasn't it? So actually, probably nothing that you guys even care about. <laughs> I do want to keep doing my um, streaming, but that's—I I don't think I need a New Year's resolution for that because I'm doing that anyway. I've got to save them resolutions for more important things. What else do I want to do? Oh, I wanted to eat more healthily. Uh, I started this by eating a, a huge fried breakfast yesterday. Excellent, excellent start. Hmm. Okay. Ouch. Mistakes were made. It's okay, it respawned me up there. No worries. Oh, it's so chill. It's one of the... I think the nicer things about this game, how the, I kind of you get this really chill, atmospheric feeling to it. So I can't make it up there. Um, I need to go around. I think there's a way around. Um, maybe there's not. Yeah, I don't think there is actually. Okay. Um, oh no, there is. Look, I can go down. Okay, we'll go down. Oh gosh, no. I can't really afford to lose hit points like this. I should be a bit more careful. Hmm. So I went through here already. I need to drop down, I think. you guys have a cool New Year's Eve? Did you do, um, have a party or something? Personally, I had kind of a, a quiet one. I did have a monster steak. Steak salad, though. Ugh. Kind of, you know, you know you're uh, becoming an, you know you're an adult when, um, you get excited at the, the idea of salad. Ugh. 
I feel ashamed, even for myself. Although it was a pretty bomb steak salad. What else do I have? Oh, just a, just a little whiskey, you know. There she goes. Why is she even down here? It's a good question because we saw her go up. She plainly went up. Big Venus flytrap, boy. What's the story? For what? For the game? Um, we don't know so far. Um, we know that we're a bug and that we're exploring um, kind of a forgotten um, land, I suppose. Bug, bug kingdom underground. Or not forgotten, but kind of abandoned, I suppose. That's about all we know so far. And uh, we've now seen this strange, mysterious female looking bug. Who is leading us on for some reason. Some big party. Do you not even know which one? <laughs> Alright, so we have to pay money to open this. Yes! But we can sit on the bench then, and that will allow us to at least... Um... Okay, so I know we're going to fight um, Hornet in a moment, so I'm actually going to get rid of the Gathering Swarm here, because we don't really need that. Um, better to have something for combat. No, I was I was just fine, not even hungover. That's just sad, isn't it? Really? Well, I don't know if it's sad. I don't know. I, I opted for this. I could have gone somewhere, but I chose to uh, instead have a nice kind of quiet one. Quiet time. I did see midnight, at least. Didn't go to bed too early. Watch Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. You know it's a great night when that happens. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm going somewhere in a few days. Um, it's not really holiday, but... Oh, I, I told you, I'm going to uh, Zurich. It's not really a holiday, though. Oh, it's such a good movie. I love it. I don't even think of it as a mo like a movie at this point. It's almost like it has it's become kind of a cultural um, icon of its own. Okay. Hmm. Oh, is this no? Hello. Okay. I'm um, just going to heal up, because I don't want to die against this guy. A lot of the enemies at the start of the game are very vulnerable to um, being kind of attacked from above. They don't really have any defenses against it. So that's good at least. Oh, it's one month till my YouTube birthday. That's right. Excited about my uh, YouTube birthday, I see. <laughs> Someone has to be. <laughs> I think I've gone the wrong way. Yeah. Whoops. Oh well. I'm going to fight the Vengefly King in just a moment.
<sighs> Come on then. You just just gotta wait for him to come at me because he, he's a bit skittish. Come on, come over here. Whoops. Ah, uh, come on, just die already. This guy is not particularly challenging, but it's just kind of annoying that you can't really get a good attack on him because he just won't really attack. Ah, <sighs> okay. We'll just, we'll just take it easy. Take it easy. There's no rush. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm always careful. I'm always careful. No worries. No worries, mate. Somewhere around here is... Oh. That's a good spot, um, Yuri. Um, we will see a few, actually, um, bodies around the place. But that was um, actually, it wasn't, he was actually making a lot of sound, so he's actually a character that we'll meet later. Oh, actually, I should have talked to him. Sorry, um, I'm going to go back and talk to him, because otherwise we're going to miss that. don't know if he's still there, but... Um, I was so eager to continue that I just forgot about him. No, he's gone now. Okay. Well, we, there was Zot. Zot the Mighty is there. Uh, um, and he is a recurring character and a reasonably significant one. Uh, he's not insignificant anyway. Hmm. These are very easy once you realize you can kind of hop on their head. A lot more difficult until you do. <laughs> oh, so cute. On Grub Boy. Um, still have not found the way to uh, Hornets. I think it's here, maybe. Hmm, a Stagway. Oh, yeah, I think it's through here. Yeah, this is going to be it. So this is the first uh, real chance of dying I have, I think. Um, she shouldn't be too difficult, though. I should be able to own her. Come no closer, ghost. I've seen you creeping through the undergrowth, stalking me. This old kingdom. A terrible thing awakens. I can smell it in the air. I know what you are. I know what you tried to do. I can't allow it. So this is really cool character design on this character. So my character is actually fighting using a nail because he's just a little bug. So she has, um, that's actually a needle and thread. So there she's like whipping the thread around. And here we go. Now she's stunned. I could heal. Um, I'm not going to because I don't need to. But as soon as you hit her, she becomes unstunned, which is... As I say, bad teaching from the game to teach you that you can hurt enemies when they're stunned. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh a little close for comfort. I probably am not going to win the game, actually, if I can't. This is like the first reasonably challenging boss and she's not too difficult. So, if I can't beat her. Probably not going to get too too much further. 
I have done this before, um, the Steel Soul, and it was about, this is as far as I, wait, I beat uh, Hornet, but um, the next boss, the next big boss I died to, so. Oh. Close. And look, another another body looks kind of like mine. A Mothwing Cloak. Okay, so this is super useful. Um, new, new mechanic for moving um, around. Um, okay. Would it seek to break the seals? They cannot be undone. They must be undone. Let us sleep, little shadow. Return to the other darkness. Allow us our peace. Oh, the dreamers. That was a little bit tricky. Um, hold on. I, I, I need to... So, I know that the next uh, boss will, will, will beat me, probably, because that was kind of a pathetic attempt. So, I'm going to try and upgrade my character a bit before I um, go for the next boss. Um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna still head there because there's uh, another kind of movement upgrade to come. Um, so I need to go down. I think. We can get the stagway here. All right, let's have a look on the map. See, see what we changed. Oh, there it is. Oh, we didn't go left, did we? Did I just go back? I thought I went to the left. Don't know. All right. Well, no, no, no worries. Oh, get out of here, you! Those explodey boys are kind of tricky. I'd like to have another hit point if I could get one, but it takes it's a little while before you get such a thing. I should have mentioned, actually, you get hit points back by um, using the mana. You get the mana by hitting enemies. You've probably noticed that. Um, so, that's just kind of interesting dynamic. Oh, what a trap. Interesting dynamic of hit points. Conserving hit points and um, de dealing damage. You're rewarded for dealing damage by regaining hit points, but obviously um, you can't do damage while you're regaining hit points, so it's, it's a little bit of a, kind of an interesting balancing act to be had. Um, hmm. oh, so I can go this way, and maybe I should. No, I can't go this way. Never mind. This is for later. Much later. We're gonna to go to meet the mantises now. I think it's it's time. Okay, I thought I was gonna take damage there, but I guess not. I guess it's fine. That one gives just just gives a little bit of mana, so you can heal a little bit. I don't really know why they're placed in the places that they are, but I'm not gonna complain too much. Take it. Ha! Ah. Whoops. That was dumb. <clears throat> Where are my mantis boys? This is the right the right way to the mantis lords, I think. Or to the mantis is 
the mantis, the mantis, the manti, the mantoses, the mantises. I am just going on the night now. I'm going to call it. I'm going to morning. It's is a half. What? I have no idea what you just said. I've been here. Hi. Oh, it's a new boss. A rather easy boss. once you figure out that you can just do that to him. <laughs> Money! Yeah! Whoop, whoop, whoop. is now I think this is the right way no this is the wrong way oh no it's it's not is it oh I don't know I'm not sure I don't know this game as well as I thought I did clearly yeah no it's not the right way I guess we can do it anyway. Alright, you ready for, for a magic trick? What an interesting mechanic. <laughs> nice. top here. I think there's something up here that's worth having. No, there's not. Great. <laughs> Great to know. Canyon. A new area. Actually, a very late game area where we will not be returning for the foreseeable future. I'm just going to try and sneak my way through without taking too much damage. Oh, the bank. 
bank is there. I'm not going to use the bank though. We don't need that. Oh, a new character. Isn't this something? I'd expected, not expected to discover so huge a slag station after that foggy descent. The bugs of Hollow Nest must have been an impressive lot building such grand structures so far into these wilds. Seems the dangerous creatures about haven't made their way in here yet. It's a perfect place for a quick rest. I don't know what accent this is, but it's probably slightly offensive to somebody. Oh, come in search of treats, have you? Yeah, I'm not going to do that voice. <laughs> Alright, so... We don't have a map for this area, though. We have to buy a map first. Alright, but we can unlock the stag station, at least. And let's, um... Let's keep going. I'm gonna head down to the. Um, okay, we can't get up there yet. Get, head down to the mantises. Um, I'm not gonna try and kill the mantis lords yet, though. So, mantises first, and then we're gonna go into the hollow nest, I guess. To try and stretch this out as long as possible, because the mantis lords are going to kick my ass. I don't want my ass to be kicked quite yet. Oh yeah, the sound is great. Um, I would prefer if there were a little bit more music. Like, particularly, I mean, mostly for the stream's sake. Um, like, it can be a little bit quiet at some times. But, um... Yeah, apart from apart from that, I mean, it, I, I guess the complaint is that the music's so great there's not enough of it. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, it's always the case if something's good, you always want more. So. <laughs> God, that's an annoying monster. Some of the characters have great lines as well. I think the, the writing's quite good. Massacred. It's kind of brutal. <laughs> Kill all the little babies. Baby shrooms. Gotta cleanse them though. Stop them growing into these bad boys. Not that they're particularly bad either. Whoops. Some damage from that. Yeah, that's true. Um... Actually, there are those weird gas bag things. I don't know. They might be... They're probably not bugs either. Yeah. Waluigi. guys um, don't like being hit from the top. In fact, you can't hit them from the top. But they have a very, very, very short range attack, so they're kind of easy. You dead. Nice charm notch. That's huge. So that means I can take an extra charm now. Um, which basically means I'm, it's kind of a straight character upgrade. It's the first uh, real kind of straight upgrade that we get. Obviously, picking up the charms, the first charms is kind of handy as well. These guys, I don't think, are... Um like weird gas bags are probably not bugs either, but I don't really know what they are. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. <laughs> I already put some mushrooms, but. What? Oh ho ho! Oh ho! The steps of a tiny creature. You got the look of an adventurer, so we've much in common. Searching for dangerous places, I? Well, you're on the right track. A long necked critter warned me of a tribe deeper down. Warrior sword, so she says. Oh, so she says, and I'm itching for some serious combat. Is that right, Cloth? Cloth is a cute character. Who does not appear too much. I think maybe she was added later, so she doesn't really have a very important role uh, in the main section of the game. This game was. Um, quite heavily um, kind of extended after after its initial design, I think. So there are some parts that don't, I mean, they're, they're, it's not a problem, but they don't really fit so so well. They don't, they're not super well integrated into the rest of the story. Oh, there goes Hornet again. She back. Okay. So these are bugs with mushrooms. Lycopodon. Like Flying ones? I'm not sure which ones you mean. You mean the ones that jump around or. No. Like, <laughs> oh, these these guys, these little clusters. Oh, those! I see, the, the weird gas bag things. Oh, yeah, like a. Um, like a puffball. Yeah, I can kind of see that actually. I don't know if that's what a, like like perg like kerbagon is, but like kerbagon. Oh, those those guys. Fair enough. These guys can fight upwards, which is kind of a problem. And they're actually pretty challenging. I shouldn't die to them, uh, realistically, but these are some of the first, like, actually difficult, regular enemies of the game. The others have been kind of weak by comparison. Fortunately, the flying ones are a bit easier. Wanderer seeking death, welcome. May you find the swift end upon our claws. Well, sorry, but I've killed several of you already. So, I guess not. I'm not seeking death, personally, but... I'm not afraid to die. Actually, I am. I'm very afraid. It's the one thing that I'm afraid of in this game, that is. In real life, I'm, I'm somewhat afraid to die, to be honest. I don't really want to die. I'd rather not die. At this point, anyway. Okay. So through here is the Mantis Village, and that's where we'll be going next. Because there's a very useful item in here that we need to get. And I intend to get it. I need to flip this switch first. It's okay. I got... I'm handling it. I'm handling it. Ba boom Ah. Tries to take a shortcut, but it didn't work. I could go all the way around again. And up.
there's a shiny item that we kind of want. Yes! Yeah, I don't know. It probably has a better name, but that's... My mum, uh, when I was a kid, my mum loved, um... Like... She liked to go, like, into the woods and, like, spot mushrooms. Um... Or, well, when we were walking, she used to like walking, so whenever we would walk, she would have a, a lookout for, for mushrooms. Oh gosh. This is a bit hairy. Nowhere to get hit points back here, so there's a chance of death, but it's okay. Made it. So that opens up the um, the main mantis area down below here. Um, I'm not going there, but I could go there, um, but I'm not going to. Because I'm going to make myself more powerful first. So now I can get into Hallow Nest, I think, now that I have um, the City Seal and the Mantis Claw. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, do you know much about mushrooms then? Or are they like magic mushrooms? Is it that kind of mushroom? <laughs> um, I'm going to go down and see if I can get... Um, Cornifer, and there's also another character that we'll meet down here if I can get there. Be a little bit careful. I think Cornifer's down here, although. No, I don't think. Actually, I'm wrong. He's not down here. Cornifer is the map maker, I should mention. I don't know if you know that by now. Uh, so there's a little bench here, and we can at least see on the map where we are. No, we can't, because we don't have a map for this area. We haven't met Cornifer yet. There she is, look. Let's see if we can rescue her. This area here is um, one of the later areas in the game. It just kind of spills out here. Some of the common, um, ah, fair enough. I was going to say some of the common ones um, I know. Uh, I don't think I know any of those actually. Oh, Balette. Balette. I, I do know Balettes. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. I should go to the right. So, balettes are different from other mushrooms in that they have, um, like, spongy spores instead of, like, gills. Oh, you forgot about me. I knew you would. Everyone else forgets about me. Oh, who are you? Your face. You're so... so... I'm, I'm sorry. I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. I, you came to rescue me, Bretta? The girl everyone just ignores? 
Alright, bye bye, Bretta. Uh, in the UK, the common ones are kind of Fly Garrick is very common, um, very iconic as well. That's the red and white one. Um, obviously, common common field mushrooms, um, very common. They're the edible ones. Um, Bracket fungus, um, one that grows on the um, bracket fungus is the one that grows on. Um... Oh, that's it's more of a type of fungus than anything. I think um, the big big guys that may be the birch mushroom. Maybe I don't know. It grows on birches uh, sometimes. Well, it grows on all kinds of um, trees. Very, very kind of solid looking mushroom. Get away from me. game does a very good job of um, introducing enemies, um, I've noticed. I mean, as we'll come back through there, you can see the kind of the introduction of those characters. Uh, mantises, I suppose they enemies rather than characters, but whatever. There's also, um, what's it called? Um, Stinkhorn. <laughs> That's a fun one. Absolutely stinks. Smells like dead bodies or something. Um, horrible, horrible thing. And it looks, um, when I was a kid, we used to call it Dead Man's Willy. Because um, it looks a bit like a willy. Um, Um, but yeah, smells very bad. Uh, there's also um, ink cap, shaggy ink cap, which um, looks a bit like it's like a, a bit like a stink horn. Like it's it's kind of like a tall one, and then it, it starts out white, and it slowly slowly gets inkier and inkier and darker and uglier and uglier and uglier until it just kind of disintegrates into a pile of um, well inky mess, basically. Can be very very ugly. Death cap. Have you seen death cap? I'm not sure if I've actually ever seen death cap, but it's just kind of a legendary one by its name, isn't it? Um. What? What's this? Sports room. But I hear a grub around here. I wonder if we can get him. Don't really want to touch that. <gasps> oh gosh. Okay. Okay. So we're in danger now. Um, let's just get out of here. <laughs> let's just avoid the danger. Yeah, you know what, let's just bounce. Haha, <laughs> literally. Bounce our way out of here. I don't really wanna I don't need to go that way, I think, so um I think if I know any other um No, that's about it from my mushroom knowledge. 
Still better than most, I guess. Obviously, there's magic mushrooms as well. Um, which can be found, I believe, in the wild. There's actually a mushroom that is called the Destroying Angel of Death. Which is a great name for a mushroom. Okay, um, so what was I doing? Oh, I wanted to head into... Um, Hammer nest. But I think in order to do that, I'm going to have to get back, actually. Yeah, that's right. Hmm, I'm still alive. Kind of didn't expect to still be alive at this point. How long has this stream been going on for? Oh, almost 90 minutes. Whoa. Raunchy. So that's um, a heart piece. If this was Zelda, that would be a heart piece. Um, it's that it's a mask piece. Um, so I'm going to put the Gathering Swarm back on, uh, and I'm actually going to put the Dash Master on because it lets me go faster. Um, but I'm kind of itching for. Uh, a uh, toilet break real quick so um, maybe I'll just leave you with the sound playing very quietly <laughs> um, try control this here um, ba -bum. yeah I don't really have anything I might just leave it for a moment so I'm gonna be right back excuse me uh, no no work today uh, I finished my job. I don't have a job anymore. I mean, I have a new job starting soon, but not not quite yet. Anyway, I'm going to be back in, give me three, four minutes. I'm just going to use the toilet and maybe get a cup of tea. Get yourself a cup of tea.
Nobody around to spam. Ha ha ha. Good morning, um, everybody. That's hot. Why did I think I could drink that? Okay. Anyway. Um, hmm. Still don't have a map. So let's go, let's go back to Dirtmouth and we'll quickly get the map here. You've opened several stag stations now, haven't you? I'm thankful for the opportunity to once more travel through the kingdom. As I visit more places, I feel my memories returning to me like the stagways of my mind are running once more. Continue to open the stations and you'll have my deepest gratitude. I don't know, I don't know whether to commit to doing the voices or not. Um... <laughs> What? Let me out? Are you kidding me? Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, it's gonna go in here. Um, we can buy another mask shard. We don't really need it yet. Um, some key we could buy. Why did I come back here? The map. Oh, and here's Zoth, the mighty. Uh, you dare, why are you stalking about in the shadows? Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am Zoth the mighty, a knight of great renown. Tremble before me. While you were hiding here in your dingy little village, I ventured into the dark pit below us and slew a great beast. Beast. It had sharp mandibles and atrocious manners. Yes, yes, all glory to me. But I don't have time for, uh, for your adulation. I must rest to prepare for my next journey down. Ponga wastes, we'll get the map. Yep. Uh my Christmas was okay. Um yeah, I, I'd probably just leave it at that. <laughs> wasn't wasn't fantastic, wasn't wasn't wonderful, wasn't terrible. Um yeah, just just okay. Um Let's go for this one. I guess I'll get the bench pin as well. So these will just add, add some more things to the map. Um, some of these don't really matter too much because I kind of know them now. Oh, who's he? Pale thing. You wear that nail with ease. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no greater warriors in this decaying burrow. I've heard an arena exists somewhere below, one built for our like. Meet me there and we'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon. Come and find me if you dare. Sounds like, um, I imagine he's a snake. How was, how was Christmas for you, Tucker? It's the, it's the, um, the middle of summer, right? So, I guess you have, like, Christmas cards with, like, snowy scenes on them, or, or I guess not. Um, I, what, what are Christmas cards in the, in the Australia look like? Um, station. My brother gave me a very, very, very sharp knife uh, for Christmas, which was fun. Um, extremely sharp uh, like a it's like Damascus Japanese Damascus steel knife um, 
and it cuts through everything. I think it cuts through time itself. Um, in fact. Okay. Um, so let's go to the right here. Um, oops. to get killed by them. What's that? Hello, Nest Seal. It's useless. Yeah. Risked my life for nothing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But it's not completely useless. Oh, this is a difficult one, actually. But I won't die here, because that's a stupid place to die. Wanderer's Journal. Again, it's not really useful for anything. It's just worth some money, I think. favorite food? Hmm. Hmm. Good question. I love lots of kinds of food. Um, I quite like a well well done, some kind of a stew, uh, so like a curry or a um, bolognese or something, some kind of really um, like a, a very moist dish that's kind of expertly create, crafted. Um, that's kind of my jam, something we like real a, a bunch of like different kind of mature flavors in it um yeah a, a nice curry can be phenomenal all right this guy He's gonna sell us some useful stuff leg eater let me show you then take a look you have to pay for them of course you do hmm So I want to get a Fragile Heart, it gives me extra hit points, and um, these items are more valuable when playing um, uh, Steel Soul because of course, uh, well, these are normally destroyed when you die, but um, they will not be destroyed when I die because, well, I mean, they will be destroyed when I die, but so will the whole character, so I'm not really too concerned about the fact that they'll be destroyed when I die. I'd rather not die, so Fragile Heart is a really, a really good pickup. Ah! See you later. Have I been this way? Or it, yeah, I think I just came I came through here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Oh no, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think I did. Hmm. Yeah, go for it. I will I will do whichever accent you want me to. Uh, as long as it's, yeah, as long as it's not explicitly offensive. <laughs> oh, 
I got a cup of old grey, um, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. I um, know no one, no one was, but <laughs> um, maybe someone watching in post was desperately wondering, and um, the information would have been forever lost if I hadn't recorded it on film. So that's good. I've saved somebody uh, pain and heartache. Hmm. So going into Halloness then. I think it's where that big statue is on the map. English narrator. This voice is used by people who are narrating the action in a scene. It's maybe a little bit like David Attenborough, but not quite. Maybe it is a um, an audiobook, or perhaps it's found in a documentary. Anyway, um, I'm not sure exactly what you want me to say. I'm going to head down into Hallow Nest, where I hope to discover the purpose of this game. This way. You notice this is one of the first times we've seen this uh, bug motif here. Um, which is very common. It's kind of the symbol of how I knew that. <laughs> oh. So getting into Hallow Nest a little bit tricky. Afford to fuck up anymore now. Oh, yes, I can. There's some energy here for me to heal. <gasps> Stanley. Yes, I know the Stanley Parable. The narrator in the Stanley Parable talks something like this. And he is narrating Stanley's life. Stanley Parable is, um... Kind of explicitly a massive F you to the whole... It, it's a good it's a good game. Um, whoops, that was dumb, wasn't it? Uh, I suppose it's, it's kind of an exploration of a few things in, in video games, but it's quite anti-video game overall. It seems to be kind of a... have a pretty strong message of don't play video games. who can't fight upwards. <laughs> These little suicide guys. Parry, parry move in this game actually. If you attack at the same time as them, uh, you parry their attack. There's a secret there. Let's grab it. 
Oh, it's just some stuff. The great gates have been sealed. None shall enter. None shall leave. So, oh, here he is again. He had like a slightly offensive Japanese. The capital lies before us, my friend. What a somber place it seems, and one that holds the answers to many a mystery. I too have felt the pull of this place, though now I sit before it and I find myself hesitant to descend. Is it fear, I wonder, or something else that holds me back? Bye, Quirrell. Hmm. A chest full of jewels. Whoa, whoa, whoa. City of Tears, here we are. No way. Uh, this stream is going to be as long as it as I manage to survive the game, or until like twelve o'clock. So maybe kind of two hours more at most, because I do have things to do today, or until I die. This game was made by uh, Australians, actually. Um, you'd be interested to know, um, it's okay. It's kind of nice how, um, the video gaming world is kind of, um, expanding its horizons, I suppose. There are great video games coming from all over the world, and it's, it's, it's nice. Um, it's a nice thing to know, rather than, historically, I mean, it was very few... Very few countries were producing video games. I mean, there was um, the UK and and, and um, America, pretty much. Um, I mean, mostly America. But now we have some great studios coming from uh, Sweden. is a great producer of video games. We have some great ones coming out of Canada, um, Australia, even even Russia. Um, War gaming. <laughs> World of Tanks. later in the game, I think. Hmm. The bench here, I guess we'll go grab that. Continue my trend of sitting on every bench. Oh, people outside. Hi. Whoa. I don't know, maybe that's one for you. Um, it's okay. <laughs> I'm probably not. Isn't this a change from those natural twisting caverns? The rain does not cast. does cast something of a sadness upon it all, but the architecture is simply splendid. Charging such a different space is quite challenging. Tough one I've eagerly undertaken. 
Perhaps you care to purchase a copy of my achievements so far? Yes. <laughs> oh, hey. Which way are you going, you soggy vagabond? I don't want you splashing me. I've had a miserable time trying to keep dry. I am Zoth the Mighty, a knight of great renown. If I decide that I'm going to stay dry, then that's what's going to happen. Curse this wretched city. Water and monsters constantly fall from above. It's no wonder this blasted kingdom fell to ruin. Yes, look, he looks very similar to my character. Oh, no way. Because the, the QWERTY keyboard was originally designed for a typewriter, right? Surely not. Surely they didn't do that on purpose. That's got to be a, a happy accident. Oh, a mysterious tree thing, which will become relevant later. Oh. Get over here. Heal up. Not worried about that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa. Oh, what is that? A shiny. More selling fodder. Oh, what's here? So we activated the lift now as well. Which is good news, I think. Um, so another shortcut. Get out of here, you. That's flying, guys. You're a little bit annoying. <sighs> okay. Let's check the map again. So, we have much more to discover here. Um... I need to get the uh, Pale Ore. There's an item of Pale Ore which will allow me to upgrade my weapon, but I need to find it first. Um, I know where there's one. I don't know where there's others. But I think it's time to explore that way anyway. Oh! Damn it. Maybe it's the right. Let's see if we can find some... Um, some way through to get to the pale ores. I'm not. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit lost about the direction at this point because this is about the point in the game where there's kind of a lot of different ways you can go. Um, I'm not exactly sure which way I want to go or which way I should go. Ouch! Attack me when I'm reading my map. Cheek. This way? Aha, this way. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Uh, this guy. I'm not ready for this. Oh, goodness. Oh! <gasps> No! <gasps> no! <sighs> Damn. 
don't be here. My goodness. Holy. <clears throat> okay. Let's try that again. Um... <laughs> but this time, I do it without getting owned. Well, it turns out I didn't need to run away and heal like that. I could have just carried on because I didn't get hit, but it's okay. Okay, so I'm definitely not ready for this area yet. This is certainly much too difficult for, for me right now. I need to get the leveled up a little bit more. It's not this way. So I need to go down to the ground floor and go, go down, I think. What is that? Oh. Through here. Nope. Oh. Whoop. Oh. Whoop. Oh. Ouch. Well, it's okay. I think there's somebody down here who's of use. I believe um, the shop, the shoppy, is around here somewhere. That's uh, the guy that I can sell my um, things to. Is, is around here. Again, we meet, little ghost. I'm normally quite perceptive to you, I underestimated, though. I didn't... Though, I've since guessed the truth. You've seen beyond this kingdom's bounds. Yours is resilience born of two voids. It's no surprise, then, that you've managed to reach the heart of this world. In doing so, you shall know the sacrifice that keeps it standing. If, knowing that truth, you'd still attempt a role in Halonus' perpetuation, seek the grave in ash and mark it. Seek the grave in ash and the mark it would grant... To one like you. Hmm. Memorial to the Hollow Knight. Hmm. Okay, so we can't go this way yet. Um, where do I need to go then? Hmm. See you later. Guess we'll go to the left and just um, just to meet the um, the smith, the nail smith. I don't know if he has a better name. Um, he looks like a stag beetle, like an actual stag beetle. And he lives in a house that's shaped like a stag beetle, which is weird. Oh, haha. <laughs> I'm quite good at this game, I think. Hmm. Oh, I thought you were somewhere else.
Pay Geo. Yes. Okay. I don't need the payload then. All right. So now my weapon is about twice as, as deadly, which is good. Good news. Garadel Akari. Hmm. Vendazu. Okay. So we need payload now, but it's okay. I, re I reckon I could try the Soul Sanctum, maybe. Um, might be a bit greedy to do it at this point. Maybe I should get... I know where I can get another Charm Notch, so maybe I should do that. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go. I'm going to go get another Charm Notch so that I can put on... Um, basically make myself a bit tougher. I want to put on the Fragile uh, Strength as well. Maybe. Hmm. Doesn't seem to do much more damage. I should be doing nearly double, so I don't know why I don't seem to be doing more. <laughs> Funny. My nail doesn't seem to do any more damage, which is odd. At least it takes the same number. I'm pretty sure it took five before. Four before, and now it takes four still. Maybe it took five before, and now it only takes four. Hmm. Still, I was kind of hoping for more damage. A higher damage boost. Kill these in two shots instead, I suppose. Two. All right. Maybe I should stop procrastinating and go and fight the Mantis Lords because I don't know if there's much else to do. I don't know what else I. Whoa. I don't know what else I can do actually. Go down to the left, couldn't I? All right, I think I need money. Is is the long and short of it? I need to get some money from somewhere. So I need to get. Hmm. Oh, I should have activated that lever. Bum. Do I have to go all the way? Oh no! <gasps> I have to go all the way around. Crap. Because I don't think I can go back here, can I? No, I can't. Okay. I need a, a move that I don't yet possess to go that way. Annoying. Um, oh, it's really annoying. So i got to go all the way through through the level again. Oh, well, I'll get some money doing it. Um, uh, boom. I guess we can try to go down to the left since we're kind of in that area anyway. Oh, I've already been there, that was the nail master, the nail smith. I might just go to the soul sanctum and try fight the soul soul sanctum guy. Nowhere else to go. Um, oh, have I been this way? Oh, here he is. 
Morrison Gian. Velmi Archard. Oh, Paul. Velmi Archard. Velmi Archard. Velmi Archard. I might offer a lot for each, but they're plentiful about the caverns, and I doubt you'll find another Velmi one to trade them for Geo. Velmi Archard. Very interesting, this. Okay, so I've got a little bit more money. That's kind of what I needed, actually. So that's good. Um, I might. I, I need to buy the Lunafly lamp, which is the flash of this game. I, I it lets you move in dark areas, but. Um, I need to let you see in dark areas. You can move in the dark areas anyway, but you probably shouldn't. <laughs> Come on. Up we go. What am I? A bug. Or in real life, um, I'm a human male. <laughs> Some kind of a bug, we don't really know. Uh, so this far in the story, you don't really know much more about the character than that they are some kind of a bug. A bug who fights with a nail. I don't see why you're questioning this. There's nothing wrong with that. It makes perfect sense. Brother. Sounds like he says brother. I can't believe I forgot to open that one switch and have to do all this again. <laughs> Not that it really matters too much, but just it is a bit of a time time sink. Yeah, maybe I should try the soul, um, the soul king or whatever his name is. I could do that. Let's let's give it a go. I'll see how badly I get owned because that will release me from this hell and I can go um, and play a different game. Haha. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm gonna go and do some something productive with my life instead of playing video games. Why is Cornifer here? Key. Maybe I can't go this way yet. I thought, I thought it seemed like a bit of a high-level area for for my present state. Fair enough. Oh, maybe we can go this way. Oh. It's the blob things. Oh goodness, two of them. Get a little bit of health back before we die.
Oh, okay. Gotcha. Why am I? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, why is anyone? Record ABBA. The mind still limits us so. How to break past its constraints. Someone important had a chair here. Why am I? That is a good question. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm being distracted. It's kind of hard to multitask. You know? Come on. Oh. Okay. Uh, this would probably be where I die, I think. Oh no, it's Soul Warrior. I can take Soul Warrior. My goodness, there we go. Got him. Uh, I am now. Or am I? Ooh. That's a good question. I don't think you exist in now. Oh, that's a statement, isn't it? A real a real uh, quandary. Does you exist now? <laughs> You can only make statements about you in the past, present, I think. No, it's not true. Past or future, but no, that's not true, actually. Say, I am hungry. Example. Hmm. Alright, so that was just a warm-up. The, um, the guy we just fought. Now it's time for the real, the real deal. Who are you? It's a good question. Oh, come on, come on. Down here. Oh, really? Two? Just heal up. You're not going to come down here, so. Gonna need to do better than that if I want to beat the Soul Master or whatever his name is. I think it's Soul Master. Hmm. Where am I? I'm in my, um. I'm in my bedroom. Just hanging out, you know, as you do. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to bother fighting these guys. They're kind of the warm-up for the, the boss, but... Alright, this is where I die, I think. This is like the first reasonably challenging enemy. guys. What's this? What's this in? Spell Twister. Sounds good. I'll take it. 
Alrighty. So let's go and get the Soul Master. Here he is. So this is gonna be the end, I think. So wish me luck, because here we go. Whew. There he is. Good luck. Samuel. Samuel the Soul Master. My main mission here is to not get hit. That was greedy of me, wasn't it? That was easy, huh? Just kidding. It's not even his final form. Nice, nice. Samuel's dead. Samuel the Soul Master is dead. Samuel the Soul Noob. smash through that glass but uh, first of all I want to check what's up here and I think there's a reward for my perseverance a bunch of money Yeah. 
two, three. I freaking love avocados. Well, I mean, within reason. They're not. I wouldn't like eat a straight up avocado by itself, but. Um, I do like a bit of avocado. Tasty, tasty. Good with um, a salad. I think it's probably the best thing to use an avocado for. Oh my goodness. Nearly died. Not really. Didn't even get down to five. Ha. Ah, four, I should say. I don't know. What am I saying? I should just, just, just stop speaking generally. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where are we now? will allow us access to new areas now um, but I still haven't got my lunar fly ring which is L lunar fly lantern which is what I really need I think um, well let's have a little, little explore and see if there's somewhere I can go now that I couldn't before um, but I think I need to go to the stag station so we can get the lunar fly lantern so that I can try and go to the darker areas um, later. Hmm. Um. Oh, we can sell to this guy. The Hallow and a Seal. He says, another hell on a seal, pass it over. Oh, I enjoy collecting your life, but there's little information to be gleaned from each. Mind you, they do have a nice shine about them, and there's nothing wrong with appreciating something purely on aesthetic merits. Yeah, 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 I don't. Um, maybe up to 90 minutes, potentially? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how we go. It may be that we need to split this stream up, because I do have things to do today. Maybe let's say half an hour more if I don't die before then. I'm going to head up to the surface if I can. Ah, yes. The way to go is this way. Not the way that I just was going. Because I, I already tried to go back this way and I couldn't make it out. Because I didn't pull that freaking lever. So let's pull that lever. And make sure that I can get back out. Uh, sometimes this game is a bit slow. No, I've already been this way. I need to go to the right. Ten PM. Is that bedtime? Bedtime in Australia. That's oh, bedtime for me. 10 p.m. Is, is like time for a nappy nap. Time for a short eight hour nap. <laughs> and whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's sit down so we can at least get a new map. Soul Sanctum. All done. There is a door there, though, that we can't access yet. I 
that's what we needed. So now we can at least get out of here. These guys fly fast, huh? Fly, you fools. Oh. Ow! Tricky, even though we've already been through here. Oh, there's a stag station too. So let's go to the stag station, and we can get back up to the surface. Oh, they said you're in a grape, did they? What does that mean? Is this a joke? Ha 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 ha! I'm preemptively laughing because you're gonna give the punchline before I. Well, about now, I think. Nope. Nope, nope. No punch time. Is that it? They just did surgery on a grape. <laughs> Can buy the Lunar Fly Lantern. Hello. Uh, um, need that, yep. I'll buy this, may as well. Just a couple more, and I will get another hit point. Oh! oh! Alright, so, let's go to the place where we can get some pale ore. Uh, the crystal caverns or something, I think it's called. I don't remember exactly. But it's dark. Oh, it's a meme, is it? <laughs> Reminds me of the time um, I was once at a monastery, a Buddhist monastery, and they um, asked me, um, as the lay person, uh, or a lay person that was there, i.e. not a monk, um, during the ritual that they have, they need somebody to dedicate the food, uh, to basically to offer the food to the monks. Uh, and as part of this ritual, um, for some reason, I don't know exactly why. You need to um, you need to cut any fruit that has seeds in it, um, and so the monk gave me a butter knife, not like a table knife, to cut the cut the fruit with. Um, and everybody's waiting to eat, so the whole all of there's you know there's more than a dozen people at the monastery waiting waiting to eat. Um, lunch or dinner uh well both i suppose lunch and um i'm standing there with this freaking butter knife table knife trying to cut a grape and in the end the monk after like the fourth or fifth attempt of failing because how do you cut a freaking grape with a, ta a table knife um <laughs> Hey, um, he uh, he says, an attempt is sufficient. I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> Consider it attempted. Oh no. Goodness me. Goodness meme. We. There was something on the right there, wasn't there? Missed it. Crystal Peak. A dangerous area, to be sure. Alright. Don't really know where I'm going. 
Just kind of guessing. Oh, it's a pretty area, this. Interesting. What a gl That's an interesting glitch. So I was able to hit him by attacking upwards while standing next to him from behind. That's interesting. Probably not how that was intended to work. Oops. Yeah, I don't really know exactly where I'm going here, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. No! Guys shoot laser beams and cannot be damaged. It appears. At least they certainly can't be damaged by the nail. Maybe they can be killed by other means, but I'm not too worried. Should be near here, I think. There he is. Come to scale the mountain. I've heard a tale of a summit way up there. Too far for me though, and I'm not really one for heights. Yes, let's purchase a map. Can't go there yet. Whoa. Don't think I can't go that way either. bench down here somewhere. Uh oh, here we go. Let's go, Crystal Guardian. You and me, bro. He's still alive! Alright, but at least I got him. Um, now, there's a more difficult version of him up here, but I can't get there yet, so... Yeah, go for it. Hit me, hit me. I'm ready for your New Year's resolution, as long as it's not something weird and creepy and odd. But I, I trust you to, to not say something too weird or creepy. Not Cookie. What? That was rude. That was really, really rude. Sorry, Cookie, if you're watching this in post. Shots fired. We love you despite how weird you are. Whoa. This is the stream that Cookie asked for, so you better watch it in post. Actually, he didn't ask for it, but he was excited for it, so he better at least watch it. I hope he does. I hope you're watching this cookie. Easy, mate. Easy, mate. No worries. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds like a good one as well. Um, drawing is a um, nice, nice, nice little hobby. Do you, do you draw at all already? I think you said you did, but you weren't too um, pleased about it so far, if I remember correctly.
You can fire those pickaxes back at them. I did not know that. Well, that was no help. Ah, uh -huh. oh, yes. This area. This is going to be fun. In a manner of speaking. Did it. Wow, that was easy. Oh. Okay, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Let's at least check what's down here. Okay, so we've got a shortcut. That would be great for no reason because if I die, I'm, I'm dead, so... No. Okay. We can definitely do another try, at least. Did it! Did it! Okay. So it turns off the... Um, these things. And does it open a door or something somewhere? I think. Not sure where it opens. It does open something. Maybe. I do need to find a bench, don't I? I should find a bench and have a have a sit so that I can If you practice you should get an image. What does that mean? Crap. Okay. Let's get to the bench. And let's do it safely. Safety first. Don't need to go to the bench. Hit points are here. Oh, I can't hit this. Okay, never mind. No hit points are here. <laughs> it's not about... Um... It's not about the end result. It should be about the, the activity, really. So, hopefully you enjoy just doing it. Okay, so we've got a bunch of options here. I think I need to go to the, the right, the down, and the up. How long have we got? 15 minutes. Oh, I need to go in there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I need to go down and around, I guess. here, I think. Aha, here's where we need the lunar fly lamp. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. That's difficult. sleepy time when you do go and I will probably go about the same time because I think I'm about finished here
Oh, I'm here. I didn't expect to be here, but I am here. To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. One on the teacher in her archive, Lurian the Watcher, hurrah the beast. Yep, yep, yep. This will add the dreamers to the map. Go no further, little shadow. What compels it to climb out of its darkness? <laughs> what compels it to return to this sacred kingdom? A call from beyond the seals? By the vessel, or perhaps by that captive light? When the seals break, they cannot be undone. But the vessel weakens, the plague springs anew, they must be undone. Yet our seals remain, our duty holds. It must be cast away, our duty holds, it shall be done. See the dreamers again. Fade away, little shadow. Fade away and let us sleep in peace. <laughs> I'm in a dream world. Bastion in style. What a terrible fate they visited upon you to cast you away into this space between body and soul. Will you accept their judgment and fade away slowly, or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad forgotten dream? The dream nail. Oh, ho, ho, ho. King world, those figures, those dreamers, they reached out with what little power they still have and dragged you into that hidden place. But not the talisman you now wield, the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. So I must admit, the sacred blade has dulled over time. Together, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I said we need to get essence to level up the sword. So I can use a dream now here, and it gives me some essence. Um, it's kind of like a like an exploration side quest. So just kind of in some large areas, they have these little roots, which when you hit them. Um, um, basically just puts these souls everywhere and they can kind of give you a hint as to whether you've explored a whole area. Um, also, they give you points. Kind of redundant, because they don't give very many, like, it's it's possible later to get, like, something like 300 from a single, uh, from killing a single boss. So... Oh, we're in the crypt. This is a dangerous area. I don't want to die here. Seal. It's a bit more money for me. I know where all the secrets are because I've spent ages in this area discovering them, so. <laughs> go to there in a moment. 
Diamond. Oh crap. Oh, took it to the face. See you tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, if I'm on tomorrow, I don't know. Maybe I won't be. I should be. I think I will. I don't want to make a promise that I can't keep. It's a different elevator. Made it into Hollow Nest proper. Actually, this guy's just guarding the crypt, I think. Guarding the graveyard. Goodbye. If the blue lake is here. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, it doesn't heal you apparently. I thought it would, but maybe not. There's nothing there I happen to know. Of that part. Hmm. I'm trying to remember where I need to go next. Maybe I can use this to take me somewhere. Yeah, this is this is where I wanted to be actually. How long is proper? weird how when you touch the spikes you get respawned but it doesn't take away all your hit points which is strange odd um King Station let's grab the um lost Stokes, Stokes Station here and I think, um, I think I'm going to call it a day at that, actually, because um, I've lasted a lot longer than I was expecting. So maybe we can, maybe we can win this game. I don't know. It's super nice, isn't it? Um, Hello Nest. Um, it's beautifully well designed. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of a run around. to know there's a secret down here as well. A kind of a significant secret, actually. It's a whole other area here. You know what? Let's end on a bang rather than a whimper. Oh, let's. I'm gonna go to the Colosseum of Fools, and um, I assume if I die there, I'm dead. So it's gonna be a real challenge. A real challenge of skill, uh, which I do not possess.
Oh, can I not? Champion. Nope, nope, nope. In here. Yes. Isn't this a cozy hole? Yep, 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 yep. Alright, so to get up, I think I need to go to the right there. Oh, goodness. Oh, I should mention, um, you can use the dream nail now on, um, characters in the game and it will tell you, read their mind, including if they're dead, their, like, last thoughts, I think. Okay. Oh yeah, no, I do need to go this way, I remember now, because of course there was just the acid pit there, wasn't there? Oh gosh, this is actually going to be a long way. I think maybe I will call it a day because it's going to be quite a long way to get to the Colosseum from here. Gonna make it to the. That's weird. He was like stuck. I'm just gonna make it to the next bench through any means necessary. Oh gosh. See you later, mate. So, uh, that'll do for now, I think. Uh, I'm going to say thanks for watching, everyone who made it this far. Um, I suspect it's not very many of you, but thank you, everybody who did make it. Um, I'll continue this, uh, goodness knows when, um, at a point in the future. Uh, if you're invested, you may have to catch it in post, because I may not give a very good warning. Who knows? Um, thanks for watching, everyone. I uh, hope to see you next time. Uh, bye. Bye 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 bye